If someone does wrong, your spouse cheats on you. This is a common thing. Man. So what do you do? That's the problem in the marriage, right? <laughs> now, find out why are they cheating? Lack of higher joy, satisfaction. See, the mind runs for something new. You always take pride in new technology. Heart yearns for old. You take pride in old friendship. You never say, this is my new friend and that's my old computer. <laughs> Do you take pride in an old computer and a new friend? If you are in love with cars, you may say, yeah, it's vintage car. <laughs> but that's not from your mind. That is your, that's your passion. But you don't drive your vintage car every day to your office. It's just a showpiece. So the mind is always looking for something new and it gets joy by that. It is not sustainable. Mind changes. But heart holds on. That's why people do all these sort of things. Basically, they do not even know why all this is happening. There is no higher context to life. The higher context to life is that you are the beautiful source of energy. You are part of the the big, that's something. What hurts you most is when someone whom you love, they lie to you. Why? You want to know. You simply must know that they value your love more than truth. They are scared that they may lose your love. The fear of losing love makes one tell some lie. So what do they value most? If you don't value love so much, then why would you bother to tell lies to anybody? So you have to create them that space. Come on, don't worry. I'm with you. Then they will open their heart and tell them, look. When a communication is so good, when they are so sure of that, not losing your love, you come and confess, you say everything to them. Usually with mother it happens. You know, mother will anyway not reject you at any cost. So you go and tell your mom everything, right? Mostly. <laughs> I had to put some claws everywhere. <laughs> so you tell your mother, you tell your teacher, you tell your guide, you tell your mentor. You don't shy with, because you tell, you open your heart. You are sure that you are not going to lose them. They are not going to judge you. Can we not have a similar relationship in marriage also? It is possible. And there are some houses, there are some families, they do have this type of bonding. When the bonding is strong, lies disappear. When you fall into a relationship, marriage, you want to know everything about the person. You make them an object of your knowing, then you get into trouble. Because you start policing them. You want to know where did you go? With whom did you go? What did you eat? What did they say? You want to know everything about everybody. <laughs> then that person feels so stifled. Come on, give me some space. I have no experience, I'm guessing this. <laughs> I'm only guessing this is what could be happening. <laughs> because I hear so much. So you fall in love and you fall out of love the moment you start policing. And why you police? Because you want to know everything. You want to make them object of your knowing. I want to know the person. How can you know another person too well? Isn't it foolish thing to even want to know the other person? Do you know yourself? <laughs> How much you know about yourself? Anybody's mind can turn any time in any direction. Mind is so fluid, mind is so thinner than air, it can just fly. You can say, people should have principles, that's, that's correct. Once you know whether someone has all the principles, whether in the background, if they have not done something wrong, they won't do in the future also. That is a general belief. It's faith. So you have a faith. So this person, is, his character is good, and so he will have to be good in the future also.